Today on the show, we're looking at multi-room audio solutions for the home. Segway has a brand new electronic scooter and cleaning your home while you're not in the home. In tech news this week, we still don't know the cause of the Twitter security breach that saw a number of well-known people across the world have their Twitter accounts request Bitcoin be sent to a specific address only to be doubled and then sent back to you as the originator of the Bitcoin transaction. Look, I don't care who you are. If you said, please send me Bitcoin, I'll double it, send it back, it it doesn't matter who you pretend to be or are. I know that those accounts were verified. I'm, I'm not going to send you anything. I'm not. It's obviously a scam. So hopefully no one fell for it. I'm sure a couple of people did. Anyway, we'll find out very, very soon from the guys at Twitter, no doubt, how it happened. Uh, look, please to say that my Twitter account wasn't asking anyone for Bitcoin to be sent. Um, so, yeah, good to see that I wasn't breached. Anyway, that's tech news. From phones to TVs and even sound systems, Samsung know how to make high quality products that pack quite a punch. Samsung's laptop, the Samsung Galaxy Book S, is the latest product on the range and it doesn't disappoint. The new Galaxy Book S comes equipped with a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor that's designed to manage your workflow and is streamlined for mobility. With a reliable battery that can give you up to 25 hours of video playback from a single charge, it gives you the ability to work on the go for as long as you need. As a bonus, it even has 4G connectivity for when Wi-Fi is unavailable. Power up your device and log on with just one touch as they've merged the power button with the fingerprint sensor. Combined with the lightweight construction that puts the laptop at less than one kilogram of weight, the 13-inch display is a truly portable workstation. With 8 gigabytes of RAM, dual multifunction USB-C ports and 256 gigabytes of storage, it has all the essentials you need in a trusty portable device. If you're after the ultimate portable workstation that keeps you connected and powered throughout the day, look no further than the Samsung Galaxy Book S. Well, getting a good home audio solution is easier than ever these days because the smart technology within our speakers or within speakers that we can get for our home is better than ever. We can have speakers in multiple rooms playing the same thing. We can share sound to different rooms. They're easier to set up than ever before as well. And I thought we'd speak to Scott Saxton today from Harman about the Citation series of speakers that they have newly released in this part of the world. How are you, Scott? Not too bad. How are you doing, Charlie? Good. Look, thanks for joining us on our radio show uh, last Saturday too. Lots of positive feedback from listeners. Today we're talking on the CyberShack Live Facebook show uh, about the same topic, but Citation Series, um, you've had it for sale in Europe. It's now for sale in Australia. Um, there is a number of different multi-room audio solutions that we could purchase for our home. Look, top line, what is it that Citation brings to the home and for lovers of audio? I think really, with Harman Kardon Citation, it's that that heritage that we've had with Harman Kardon for what, close to 65 plus years. So there's an ingrained technical excellence around audio reproduction within Harman Kardon. And now we're adding that technological element with uh, Google Home and mm-hmm. Chromecast and Google Assistant technology to really enhance that audio experience for consumers. So. Um, you know, Harman Kardon Citation, like you said, compared to our competitors, uh, what's the main difference? And I think it's it's the, the melding of those two aspects, the, the technology and the audio excellence. But beyond that, uh, when you look at the speakers, it's actually the design. Uh, they're extremely beautiful looking speakers, 
they're heavily influenced by Nordic design. So they're actually kind of simple and, and timeless. And they will basically sit in any kind of home and enhance that that particular room that that you uh, put that speaker in. So it's um it's a beautiful product as well. And I think those are the the things you need to kind of bear in mind that Harman Kardon Citation is is not just developing a really high end speaker, but one that actually suits your home environment as well. You got different uh, designs and different models. You got the Citation One, and that's uh, just under three hundred dollars. Um, but then you go all the way up. You threw a, a sound bar, which is fifteen hundred dollars, and you've got a Citation Tower uh, for th- mm-hmm. just under four grand. So you got different models um, that people can choose from. What model do you choose for what situation? Obviously, the sound bar you get. You sit that underneath your TV. But do you, you know, at what point do you get a towel versus a Citation One, for example? Well, I think it comes down to the consumer and, and what their living room environment uh, might be. So, sorry, I said living room, but really their living environment. So, you want to take into account how many rooms they've got, how many rooms they actually want to have audio uh, in as well, uh, how big those rooms are. So we have products of varying sizes that will be able to suit different size rooms. So you're not necessarily going to buy a, a large speaker for a small room. That's kind of overkill. So, mm. um, for example, the the, the Harman Kardon Citation One, as you mentioned, that's a perfect product for a relatively small to medium sized room. Um, and then if you're looking for a larger size room, um, you're probably going to look at the the 300 or the 500. But as you pointed out, we do have a soundbar product, which is perfect for um, complementing your your tv and that acts as your virtual surround sound system but if you so choose to and you want to have a discrete 5.1 system you can also do that too by adding surround uh, rear surround speakers i think that's actually being visually shown right now um, and also a separate sub um, and so then you'll be able to have that that 5.1 surround experience as well the setup was really easy those those shots were of my own living room and i was set it up within about two minutes um and Mm -hmm. then it was a real voice driven activation for managing the different speakers right um some brands they have this quite complicated app that they've produced you've gone with this system where using the google home service um obviously the goal is to make it easy and to make your products talk to other speakers potentially that are part of that ecosystem yeah, with Google, it's it's been, you know, I, I can't speak on the the business unit that developed Harm Card and Citation, but as a as a person that's relatively new to the company, I, I'd say that it was a it was the right choice um, from the perspective that it is easy to use, um, being part of that that Google ecosystem. You have that added benefit of Chromecast being able to be easy to set up, as you mentioned, but also Google Assistant to be able to voice control those speakers as well. Um, and then with Google Chromecast, uh, I think a lot of people aren't really aware of the, the benefit of having a multi-room speaker setup capability, but also the fact that you have access to over 300 different streaming services, which is probably one of the, the largest um, compatible network of services uh, in existence right now. So it's it's got a lot of benefits being part of Google. That ability to have pretty much most audio apps out there um, work directly with the uh, speakers um, and, and quite intuitively, obviously, is, is a bonus, right? Because if I'm using Spotify on my um, smart device, I've found that I'm just throwing the audio to this Chrome-enabled, Chromecast-enabled speaker and then throwing it to another one, throwing it to another one. Um, I'd already had a Chromecast-enabled speaker made by another part of your business, um, and I was just throwing the audio to Citation. Really, the learning curve was was basically non-existent at all. Yeah, that, that's so true. There's a lot of people out there right now that have probably got a Google Mini uh, speaker um, or one of our other products, the JBL uh, Link speakers as well. Mm. And there's no fear factor in, in the fact that those are now redundant products. They're not. Because they have Chromecast built in, and Google Assistant, you'll be able to use those in conjunction with your Harman Kardon citation system as well. So you're able to expand off of what you already have today as a smart speaker, as long as it's a Google one. 
um, mm. and be able to, to expand into the harm card, card and citation range as well. So, yeah, it's it's very flexible. The interesting thing was as well, um, I know that you guys in this range, you're going to bring out more speakers in the future, right? More designs, more um, correct, you know, different kinds of sound bars, for example, those kinds of things, right? I mean, Harvey Norman, which is your retailer here in Australia that's got this exclusively, they've got products on their website now that say you can get this now and coming very, very soon is this type of sound bar, for example. So you can actually build out slowly over time, which I would imagine appeals to most customers out there because not only does it give them the ability to to try a version and then maybe get a bigger speaker next time if they choose to, but they also have confidence in longevity of the brand as well, right? That's spot on. Um, I look at ourselves when we've moved into a new place, we, we didn't necessarily buy all the furniture at once, right? We bought furniture to kind of suit the living room environment and we, we made sure we we're comfortable with it. And then from there, because we've got a certain design aesthetic going on in the living room, we want to kind of replicate that into the other rooms as well. And it's the same sort of kind of um, thought process that probably goes to, to most consumers buying into Harman Kardon Citation. They'll buy one speaker to trial it out, see how it goes in one of the rooms. And then if they're really comfortable with it, they'll, they'll end up buying another one for another room. And like you said, the benefit is the design aesthetic is consistent across the range. Um, so even if we expand and we add new speakers on um, or new subs or new sound bars, they will all have that similar design aesthetic. So it's going to be Nordic inspired. It's going to be timeless in terms of design. So it's not going to stick out like a sore thumb and it'll really suit your home environment. Um, so you are correct. I think starting off small and then working way up is possible. Uh, but there are also customers that have bought big and we know that they've decked out their whole house instantly with um, harm current citation, which is great. Um, but I think for the average person out there, you want to kind of start slow and, and build from a, a small base. We haven't even talked about the sound quality yet, and it's difficult to do that on a platform like this. You need to go into the retailer and have a listen. So take your, take your smartphone, uh, whatever smart device it is that you listen to your favorite music streaming service, music service, whatever it is, um, take it in and just have a listen to the sound because it actually, it's, it's, it actually, it's not just easy to set up and look good and all that kind of, <laughs> the nuts and bolts of it is it actually sounds really good as well. It's got quite a deep uh, base, uh, even from the Citation 1, which I was quite surprised about. If you add the subwoofer, um, it's a bit of a workout picking it up, but it does sound really good uh, as well. But I didn't think that the soundbar needed it, to be honest. It sounded quite crisp and clear um, with that. Uh, without the sub, but you know, you might want one. It's up to you. Um, the citation series, the first uh, items in the range are available from Harvey Norman now. There will be new models, sound bars, different speakers added to that range over time. Um, go in there, have a listen to it, and uh, check out the latest in multi room audio from the guys at Harmon with the citation series. Scott Saxton, thanks for your time today. Good to have a chat. Thank you very much, Charlie. It's nearly time to head back to school and we've got some product suggestions to help you get through your studies this coming year. Many laptops, like those from Apple and Microsoft, are eliminating USB ports in the name of slimness. But many of us still want to plug more than one device into our machine. A-Logic's USB-C hub provides you with more ports to maximise your productivity and spend less time plugging devices in and out of your computer. Keeping your devices charged throughout the day is essential. If you run out of battery, it can be devastating to miss out on crucial note-taking time. Signet's Charge Up Power Bank offers 20,000 milliamp hours of battery, allowing you to power your laptop all day without needing to tether to a wall plug. With a number of other ports, it can keep your phone charged at the same time, offering you all the battery you need through the working day. Microsoft Office is used the world round for creating documents, presentations and spreadsheets, as well as offering powerful productivity and note-taking tools like OneNote and OneDrive. 
Office 365 keeps your programs updated to the latest version all the time and includes a full terabyte of cloud storage. With OneDrive, your documents are synced to the cloud, so the notes you take on your laptop are automatically brought straight home to your desktop to continue just where you left off. Office 365 is also available on mobile devices like phones and tablets, meaning you can work across your favourite devices all day long. The all-new Norton 360 offers comprehensive device protection against viruses and online threats. This security suite doesn't stop at a simple antivirus program. It also offers a VPN for protecting your identity and personal details online, as well as a password manager for storing your login details securely. It's not just for PCs either. Norton's security suite works on mobile phones, tablets and Macs as well. If you want to protect yourself and your family online, Norton 360 is one of the world's best cybersecurity solutions. These products are essential to keep you going through the year. We're sure they'll help you whether you're heading back to school or back to work. Well, now on the show, let's talk about cleaning your home in a more effective manner than you probably are today. Now, I don't just mean cleaner, but I mean more convenient as well. We've seen robot vacuum cleaners for quite some time now. So when we see a new model come out, we want to know what's new, what's different, how is it better? Uh, Jeff Quattromani, tech expert, friend of the show, joins us to talk about the D-Bot Osmo T8AVI. How are you, Jeff? I'm well, Charlie. How are you? I'm good. Now, I'm just back from holidays and the idea of having a clean home when I come home to it, especially after being on leave, is, a, is, is obviously an attraction. Um, but also being able to remotely see what's going on inside the home in different rooms is an attraction as well. I understand the D-Bot can do both those things for me. Yeah, absolutely. So obviously anyone who doesn't have a robot vacuum yet um, don't know a lot of what these things can now do. And you know, the biggest point you mentioned is you could have been on your way home from your holiday and you say, look, I'm just going to get the house clean before I get home. And uh, this particular model can mop as well as vacuum. So on the front, you've got the little vacuum feature, and then behind it is a pad that rubs the floor with small droplets of water to keep the floor completely clean. So you've got this perfectly clean home, hopefully when you do get back, um, and with three-hour battery life, you'd think that the little bin inside it is going to fill up much before the vacuum itself you know, runs out of battery life, which is another good thing. So um, I think as a cleaning device, you're pretty lucky that when you get home, everything should be done for you in that way. I've seen some brands and they don't really uh, map your house. They, they just kind of go back and then change and then move a bit and then go back on the same sort of line again and back and forth. That, that's, that's rubbish to me. I want something that actually learns my home and the rooms and, uh, and gets better over time. Will we see that here? Yeah, absolutely. So this has got a couple of features to do that. The first of all is almost a laser guided mapping system where it navigates your entire home and you essentially end up with a perfect floor plan on your smartphone. And then with that, you can separate areas. So I could label where the kitchen is and have that as a special space so that I could then actually either in the app tell the vacuum to go and clean my kitchen or even talk to my smart home and say, you know, ask the vacuum to go and clean the kitchen and it will then head off to go and do that because it knows where it is. And the other benefit there too is, is barriers. So if you've got an area where you don't really want the vacuum to go, you just draw a line on your floor plan in the app and it won't go there anymore. So the Ecovacs do well. The other part you mentioned too is um, objects. Now, a lot of us do leave things on the floor and if you've got kids, mm. they're pretty likely to leave their shoes on the floor. And if the vacuum's trying to clean, um, a lot of older vacuums would just run over them and try and uh, make their way around it or over it. This particular model will identify those objects and actually to the point that it knows if it's a pair of socks or if it's a pair of shoes that you've left on the floor and it marks that. And what it then does is remember that, you know what, maybe next time someone will have moved those shoes. So I'll know to focus on that area again um, and come back to it, not thinking it's just a permanent um, obstacle. So it's a really interesting way it recognizes objects and uh, actually makes sure it comes back to make up for those spaces it's missed. Now we talk about cleaning, but these robot vacuum cleaners have gotten so much better than, than where they originally started off, which was just more of a 
automated floor sweeper. I mean, they actually can clean your home to the point where you probably, especially if you've got a hardwood floor home or a hardwood surface home, uh, to the point where you probably couldn't tell the difference between somebody physically vacuuming it and this uh, robot actually doing it for you, right? Look, it does a, it does a very good job. And the one thing that I'll say to that, because a lot of people will say that they still need to have a vacuum for weekends or something like that. But what I do answer that with is with a robot vacuum, because you're not doing it yourself, you can actually get it to go every day or you can get it to vacuum every second day. And eventually, even if it has missed things in that first way of going through, the next day it's going to pick that up. So you, you could choose to manually vacuum once a week or twice a week, or you can get your robot to do it for you every day. And even if it does almost half as good of a job, eventually it's going to add up and catch everything. So um, that's one of the things I do like. Those two front sweepers that do sit on the front, the job in actually bringing um, all that other particles into them it would be that if you've got a lot of mess, that little compartment does need to be emptied probably on a daily or at least two days um, after use. Okay, very good. Now, look, just um, another feature of it, it's not just cleaning, it's home security, right? I've been away for a few days here myself. Um, check my security camera as well. I was out. It'd be good as well to be able to check some different rooms in the house if I wanted to uh, remotely. I can do that with uh, the D-Bot as well. Yeah, it's quite interesting that that camera that does sit on the front to recognize those objects um, is actually a camera that you can tap into. So from your smartphone in the app, you can take control, almost like a remote control car. Uh, you can drive your vacuum around the house looking through that camera. And you know you could drive it to the front door, just make sure it was closed, or that if you've forgotten something, you can check where it actually is. Uh, but if you do have pets at home, a great way to entertain them because you can actually talk back through the vacuum. Um, it's got a little speaker inside and a microphone so you could hear and engage with, with your pets or even your kids if they've just come back from school, you know, drive the vacuum into their room, make sure they're doing their homework. I mean, it can be a bit creepy, but it can also be quite a bit of fun, I think. I think you have some fun freaking out the cats in my house with that one. Um, from, the from the company that says it's a robotic company first and a vacuum company second, the D-Bot. Osmo T8AVI. Are these available now? Can we just go and buy them anywhere? Available now, JB Hi-Fi for sure. $12.99 is the price. Now, with that, I will say that if you don't need some of those features, um, the good thing is Ecovacs and other brands have more cut down models. So you can really spend about $500 to get a similar product. But then when you start to bolt on things like object recognition, the, the video camera feature and others, or even the mopping, those things tend to cost more, and that's why you do get that twelve ninety nine price point. All right, very good. And one final tip: don't encourage your cat to go and sit on top of them. The uh, no, the or your son of them. Yeah, or your son. It just doesn't last as exactly. long if you get them to, to do that. Uh, D Bot no. Osmo T eight AVI, a good bit of kit for cleaning your home, and some internal security as well. Jeff Quattromani, tech expert and friend of the show. Thank you for joining us once again this week. Thank you, Charlie. This is Genie, the touchscreen device delivering your favourite streaming entertainment. It's smart, safe and fits in your pocket. You'll notice that Genie has no cameras, as this is an entertainment device. Every Genie has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity, a 5-inch plastic touchscreen, FM radio receiver and a 2,200 milliamp hour battery. We've also included basic parental controls allowing you to pin lock the apps and settings on every Genie. Don't know the pin? then you can't open the app. There are three versions of Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy Plus, and Jimmy Connect. Jimmy is perfect for listening to apps like Spotify and Apple Music with limited distractions. Jimmy Plus has the same hardware, but is a Google registered device. So we've pre-installed some Google services like YouTube, Google Maps, and Chrome. And you can download and install your favorite apps via the Google Play Store. Jimmy Connect is just like the Jimmy Plus, but with 4G connectivity. Your Jimmy Connect will stream your favorite entertainment via Wi-Fi and 4G, make and receive calls, and also text. With Jimmy Connect, we've included the ability to personalize the incoming and outgoing call and SMS experience using our preloaded call block. Block or approve incoming calls and SMS traffic as you decide. Find your Jimmy, a safer, smart device.
Well, personal transport, it's a growing area of interest in this wonderful country of ours. And there are many new products that are coming onto the market. One of the most famous brands out there is Segway. Um, obviously for, for the, the large stand upon devices that we've seen for, for many years now, we've seen Segway tours and different hot, uh, tourist hotspots, but more recently, especially they're getting into much more affordable personal transport solutions. Uh, I wanted to talk today with John Peng. He's uh, the Asia Pacific sales director for Segway about this new model they've got, the Segway E22 electric scooter uh, to describe it. How are you, John? Welcome. Hello. Hi. Yes, I'm very happy to be here to talk with you. And uh, today I will give you some some more information about it, uh, our cake scooter E22. Fantastic. Yeah. That sounds good. Look, I want to um, yeah. explain, so, mm. get you to explain to me first. When I look at the the E22 scooter or E22 scooter, um, it actually looks like a normal scooter, not an electric scooter. You've obviously mm -hmm. done a lot of engineering to build into the frame the uh, mechanical components that allow it to self-drive. Can you talk to me a bit about that? Yes, yes. So compared with the uh, traditional uh, traditional cake scooter, we are uh, electronic cake scooter. We we can drive more easily. We can drive more more easily and make you comfort uh, comfort and and enjoy the driving. So mm. E22 is our new product released in uh, 2020 and uh, is very light, uh, just a 12.7 kilogram. So no matter gentleman or lady, it's easy to take up and carry. There's a lot of technology around that's gone into making this product, right? Because, oh. and you're oh, obviously okay. spending a lot of money on R&D. You've got patented tires that you don't blow up that are just uh that are just mm. um the way they are i mean they don't need to be, have air in them for example you've got all these micro components going into this product to make it look like a regular scooter um where do you see personal transport going because this is obviously why you're spending so much time making products like this also for our products we care about the safety very much uh safety mm. is uh is it's one of the important image of our product to show to the to the customer. For our company, uh, for the Segway, uh, we want to have the tire to have the advantage. So we set up a research and design team in our company. We spent three years to design the new tire we call flat free tire or the double density tire. So in the, we provide the comfortable experience. Also, we have the two braking systems compared with the traditional one. They only have one or sometimes they have two. So we have two, one is electronic and one is physics. And uh, we, we also provided the new tail lights that can be used as a safety warning light to the back and the side. And so- um, John, John uh, can you tell me more about the hmm. dual braking that you've built into this product because of, I mean, obviously we, okay. we have seen um, the more the scooter yes. does to make it easy to ride and stop, uh, the better it is yes. for those of us who aren't actually good at riding scooters. Uh, explain that dual braking mm. feature to me. Okay. Uh, okay. The braking system, uh, we have two, right? The first is the electronic braking system because our kick scooter, we have the motor. Yeah, we can use the electronic control, the motor stop or slow the speed to make the brake. This is the first one by the electronic. And the second one is by the physical. Like uh, we can use your food, your we, we can use your food to touch, press the rear wheels cover. Same as the traditional one. Who? can ride these i mean do you have to be under a certain weight or height uh do you have to be above a certain age for example who in the community john is able to ride the segway e22 
the suggested age is uh, more than 14, more than 14 age, more than 14 years. We don't suggest the uh, children to write this product. Look, yeah. the other thing you've got, 22 kilometer uh, endurance or, or, or distance on a single charge. Um, explain to me, can we, we can remove the batteries, is that correct, and charge them up? Uh, in order to have the safety, uh, the battery is built in the cake scooter, so we can't take it out to charge. But the charge is very easy. Just uh, use the charge to connect it to the power cord and to the charge interface. Uh, we, generally speaking, uh, for the for for the for our kick scooter, we charge only three point five hours. After the full charge, the kick scooter can run for our E22 is twenty two kilometers, and the, and the and the maximum speed you can ride is twenty kilometers per hour. And is there an accessory battery as well? Is that is there is there an extra way of making it go? further uh, on a charge or something like that? Yes, we, yes, we provided, uh, we provided the solution. So uh, if you think the range is not enough and we have the interface to, uh, to connect it to another or external or option battery. Got it, so you got an accessory that yeah. will recharge the internal yes. battery yeah. and that will double the distance that you can travel. Uh, see, that's a long way. 40, yeah. 40 plus kilometers is a uh, long way to ride a scooter. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, right. Mm, yes. Well, mm. look, the option's there if you want it. Um, look, what, look, can you just point me to the future for a second, John? I mean, you guys are creating all sorts of really cool personal transport products. This is one of them. Mm -hmm. Where... Mm. Are you, where are we going with all of this? Are, are, are they getting lighter, further, faster, more safe? What, where's the next generation of personal transport going? So different customers, they have different requirements. So in future, Segway, Segway, what we offer? We offer different product to the different application. So design and uh, and produce what you exactly want. So if so if uh, we have the night one, we have the long range one, we have the uh, high speed uh, high speed one to enjoy the to enjoy the how to say challenge mm -hmm. and uh, sports. Yeah, so. In future, we have many categories to meet different customers' requirements. Very good. Very exciting times. Yeah. Look, at the moment, um, there is a lot of interest in personal transport. The Segway E22 is the current model that Segway have got. They've just released it. You can get it at JB Hi-Fi as one retailer. There's a bunch of different places you can get mm. it, though. Um, John yes. from yeah. Segway. Thank you very much for your time, and I uh, really appreciate you coming on to talk to us about the E22 electric scooter from Segway. That's it for the show today. Thanks to the guys from Segway and Harmon for coming on. Jeff Quattromani once again for talking to us about the brand new robot vacuum cleaner from Echo Vac. Uh, more details on all of this uh, on cybershack.com. Don't forget our radio show on 2GB and partnering stations Saturday morning, 8 a.m. And, of course, Cybershack TV. Check your local guides, but from noon on Saturday as well, tune into that episode on Channel 9. We'll be back next week on Thursday, a day earlier than we were today because I was on holidays. So, you know, couldn't do it yesterday because I wasn't even here. Anyway, see you next week.